Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to do this eye look and cheek look. It's a Smashbox um, palette that I'm using. This is it. It's called Smashbox Style Files. Looks like that. And this was a Christmas present from my husband uh, that I put away and <laughs> have not used until now, sadly. It comes with three separate palettes. Uh, one is a lip and cheek palette. One is a shadow palette, and then the other is an eyeliner palette. Uh, and it's got some great colors, so I thought I would share them with you. The first look that I'm going to do is going to be this uh, apricot-y kind of look. I am using cork eyeshadow. I was using wedge, uh, I think Sunday I used wedge. Used wedge, it works really, really well, but I didn't want to take it out of my MAC palette, so today I used cork instead. And they're pretty similar. Cork I think is a little bit darker, but it still works very well. Now, the color that I'm going to use is this color right here. It does not really show up as apricotty as it really is. Uh, yeah, it's a very, very peachy apricotty color. And I'll show you. There it is right there. It's like I said, does not show up. It's right there. Nearly as apricotty as I want it to. And it's frustrating because, you know, you want that pigment and you can't get it. Anyhow, so before I start, I'm going to take my NYX Milk Eye Pencil and get it on my lid right in here. I'm going to use a little mirror so that I can do this. Uh, let's get it right in here. And then take it up a little bit. And right under here where my crease is. I think it's time to sharpen this baby because there's not a lot of stuff coming out anymore. It's kind of flat. Okay, so you're going to take that eye pencil and just kind of get it around your eye and underneath your crease. Yeah, see, it's time to sharpen. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to find my big old sharpener so I can sharpen it up. Then you're going to go in and blend those colors kind of into your skin. Or not those colors, but that white pencil into your skin a little. And I'm not going to connect the two in here because I kind of want this area to stay a little darker. So I'm not going to connect them, but you can if you would like. And I know a lot of people uh, either love or hate Smashbox. I am on the fence. I don't love it. I believe there are better pigmented eyeshadows. Uh, I prefer NARS and MAC eyeshadows over Smashbox. However, I do believe that Smashbox has some really great products. And I still think they're, you know, a really good company. Okay, here's the cork and this is my little pencil uh, I like pencil 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 brush <laughs> and this is that cork I'm gonna go in with that get some onto the tip and I'm going to create kind of my crease right here like that and then bring it down and connect it kind of sharp I like for it to be as sharp as I can get it. Okay. Then I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend that in as best as I can because it really is not supposed to be the focus, although you are supposed to see it because it has to create some depth, at least on my eye lid area it does. And then just blend it out like I said. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with that color here. And this is an e.l.f. Eyeshadow a C brush. I'm just going to use that to pack on the color. And you just get it onto your brush and then just pack it literally, like pack on that color.
and then take it into your crease with that brush like that. And I just keep going back over it um, to kind of build the color up a little bit, although it never gets the intensity that I would like. Never really gets there. Um, I'm not sure if it's the eyeshadow or not. And that same pencil brush, I'm going to take it and get that same apricot color on there and run it underneath here. Like that. I'm just evening it out. Okay. And I will take cork again and run that underneath that color. Apricot color. And I do that for some more depth. Then I'll take cork again and go back into my crease a little bit. Just to make sure that they are even. And finally, with my blending brush, I will go in and just blend. Just to make sure all the colors are meshed together well. Okay, and you can see that apricot color there. Um, like I said, not nearly as brightly as I would like it, but it's there. And then I brush away any fallout. And with that brush, I'm going to go into this kind of nude color right here. It's not a nude, it's not a taupe, it's not a brown, it's pretty much just a nude color. And that is going to go up here. On both sides. Now all three of these colors that I just used are very matte. So if you're looking for colors like this, like I said, they are very matte. It's just kind of a matte skin color, a uh, matte, very light brown in that cork. The matte cork is very kind of light brown matte color. And then the apricot is a very matte apricot shade. Okay. And then lastly, there's this kind of lavendery shimmery shade there. I'm going to take that onto my brush and just get it into that inner corner on both sides and then just pop a little bit up on my highlight. Then just make sure that it's blended out nicely. And I always brush away any fallout. Okay. Next up is that eyeliner palette. It's got all kinds of really neat cream eyeliner. That, that is one thing that I do like by Smashbox. Um, I told you earlier I didn't like the shadows. I do really love these cream eyeliners and there's like all like a brown, a steel gray, kind of a blue gray, a black and then this one is like a shimmery gold and then there is a black and a brown eye pencil. So we're going to use the brown, it's called Fig and I'm just going to get that onto here and just lightly line my lid. Of course this is so much easier when I'm not doing it in front of a camera. It's so much easier. Okay. And then this is just a, it's an e.l.f. Um, small angle brush. I go in and kind of smooth out the liner with that. Just to make my line 
nicer and just kind of smudge it up a little bit. There we go. And I know liner always gives me fallout like crazy. Lastly, where is my eyelash curler? Here it is. Lastly, you want to curl your lashes. And then here is the Lip and Cheek palette. And it's got that apricot blush, kind of a, not really a bronzer, it's a, it's a blush, but it's like a brownish blush, not really a bronzer. And then a lip gloss in that apricot color, and also a lip gloss in that bronzy shade also. So I'm going to go in with that apricot blush, and I'm going to get it onto my brush, and then I'm going to get it onto my face. Right in here. Like so, and I always bring it up onto my temples. And with that bronzy shade, I'm going to run it right under here, just for a little bit of definition, and then I blend it into that apricot. And okay. Next up, I'm going to take mascara. This is Smashbox's Hyper Lash Mascara. Yes, I'm all Smashbox today. And I like this kind of a wand, something that's really little that lets me get into my not so great lashes. And I like this mascara. Um, it works nicely the way that I like for it to work. It is not my favorite though. My favorite would still be Maybelline Stiletto or the L'Oreal Voluminous. Although this one is a good one. I do like it. I really do like the brush because it's so thin. I cannot handle big bulky brushes. This is Stila's Eye Pencil and Topaz. I'm going to run it on my lower waterline. Okay. Oops. And this is that CoverGirl Champagne that I told you guys about that I really do like as a highlight. I'm gonna take, I didn't bring my highlight brush over here, so I'm gonna take this blush brush that I just used and hopefully it won't get color everywhere. Let's see if I need to get the rest of it off. Okay, I'm gonna get that color onto it. And I'm gonna get that right onto my highlight. And I like to run my highlight up around my eyebrows. I know I've told you that before. And then down the center of my nose, just a little bit. And with my finger, I will do my cupid's bow. Okay. Now then, where is that lip gloss? Here it is. And this is the lip gloss that Came with it. It's the Smashbox, kind of a nudie, nudie, bronzy, champagne -y, shimmery <laughs> color. And okay, so that is 
the finished look. Uh, like I said, it's just a kind of apricotty, yeah, <laughs> apricotty look um, with a little bit of definition in my crease and then just some highlighting stuff. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys can see that from the side. I don't know if you can see that shimmer from the cover girl too. Somebody told me that it was Maybelline's Champagne Fizz that um, Elle and Blair Fowler were talking about in that video that I saw on the red carpet. I could have sworn she said CoverGirl Champagne Fizz, um, but I'm going to go back and rewatch it and just to make sure because I could be wrong. Anyhow, I'm very, very glad to know that um, it, there is a product called Champagne Fizz, but it is by Maybelline, so hopefully I can pick that up. But this one, it's just Champagne by CoverGirl works really, really well as a highlighter. I mean, I really do like it. So anyhow, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, there's an up close of the eyeshadow. All right. Bye-bye.